Hi, this is Mike, and I'd like to show you how you can adapt Storyline's built-in Next button so that it'll only work when a learner has met a certain condition that you specify. For example, if we have a video on a slide, one common thing is you may want that video to complete before allowing the user to continue. And by default, you can see that Next button it's always active regardless of whether or not that video has completed so there's no tie to the completion of the video and the next button but if we want to ensure that the video completes before they continue one easy way to do that is to just add a condition to our built-in player trigger here so before we can do that we need to set up a couple of things the first thing we need is a simple true false variable which I've already set up here for us. I created a true false variable called video complete and since when the course launches you obviously haven't played the video yet we want that default value to be false. The second piece that makes this all work is we need something to watch and toggle that variable when the video reaches the end. So for that what I'm going to do is I've already set up a trigger and we want it to be an adjust variable trigger that adjusts our video complete variable from false to true when the media completes. So by default our variable is false as soon as the video plays to the end this trigger is going to recognize that, toggle our true-false variable over to true, indicating that the video is complete, and then we can tie it all back together. That's going to allow us to add our condition to our built-in next button. So down here at the bottom right, I'm going to click this little green plus sign. I'm going to use a variable for this condition. So we're going to say if the video complete variable is equal to true that means that the video has reached the end and I want to go ahead and perform this jump to slide action so if we see that in action now we'll notice that I can't get past that screen using the next button until that video has ended so now that we reach the end my next button now becomes active and we've done what we wanted it to do. So anytime you have any special requirements for when a trigger should or shouldn't work you can simply add a condition and that will handle the if-then logic that you need to make it work the way you want.